Hello? Oh, my God, Olivia. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I left the way I did, but I had no choice. Where's Jonathan? Olivia, I know he's still alive, and I know you have him. Where is he? Tell me. I will. But, um, I'm in a lot of danger right now, so if you want to see Jonathan, you're going to have to grant me one last request. I'll do whatever you ask. You want to talk to me about my mother? Tell me about Jonathan. Reva, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. Forget the apologies. What's important now is that I, that I see him. Are you sure he's all right? He's fine. He's fine. He's a wonderful little boy. This all seems so unbelievable, Olivia. How could you have kept him from me all this time? You know, I'll, I'll explain that to you when I see you. Um, but right now, you need to do exactly what I tell you. All right. Meet me at my house, alone. Richard will never allow that. Richard can't know about this. No one can. No one can be trusted. But there are guards that can protect us. Like, like the guard that nearly killed you? No, no, this, this is a condition. You, you, it's imperative you come here alone. Okay, I'll come. When? Olivia? Olivia! this is safe if we don't comply to Edmund's demands none of us are going to be safe what do you think he's up to his plans don't concern us he asked me to get Reva to the house alone that's exactly what I did we can't trust him Olivia you know that well, we don't have a lot of choices right now Marissa if we want to get off this island safely then the only way we can do that is with the official yacht so for better or for worse Edmund is our only hope you know what sending Reva out alone with him means I'm sending her to her death believe me I know that can you live with that on your conscience? Can you live without your son? Jonathan is Reva and Richard, so you raised him since he was a little over a year old. What would you do if you lost him? And it would destroy Johnny. I mean, you saw the look of panic on his face when he thought someone might take him away from us. We can't just, we can't just rip him from the only home he's ever known. choice between sacrificing Reva and Johnny, then it has to be Reva. Stop it, Auntie. Why? Why? What's the matter? You don't want to be tickled? I can tickle you. <laughs> I'll tickle you, too. No. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> I love you, baby. You're I'm so not a baby. No, you're not a baby. You're seven years old. Well, enough for a surprise. It just so happens I have one for you. Now, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but... You want to know? Yeah. We are going on holiday. We're going on a great big ship. It's going to be you and me and your mommy and daddy. And you're going to have so much fun. Does that sound good? Yes! Yes! Wanna go play? Okay. Okay. Oh, Johnny, you brought us so much happiness. And I would do anything, anything to keep you with us. Richard, I wish you could understand that I did this for you, too. I wish you could see your beautiful little boy. <laughs> but I can't, I can't risk you taking him away from us. Johnny, I promise you, I promise you, I will never let anything, anything bad happen to you. <sighs> we'll all be safe soon. It's almost over. Loss of a child can be devastating, and you should never have had. You should never have had to have gone through that alone. Your words. Mm. Get that. Get that. What? Richard. What was that? Somebody shot at us, Richard. Richard. Goodbye to the former, but certainly not future. First Lady of San Cristobal. Richard, 
Uh, are you all right? <clears throat> Were you shot? No, no, it's just that wind knocked out. Are you sure? Stay down, stay down. Are you all right? Yes. Drop the gun. No, Drop the no, gun. Don't do Richard, it. Richard, no. Olivia. Olivia. Admit